Kit Christmas here from and Jess, my helper. Hi. So today, um, even though we don't, <laughs> we don't have to. Hey, go, go, go! Find yourself busy in the pool. Go get in the pool. Go, 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 go get in the pool. Go. Oh, okay, that's enough. All right. So he thinks it's playtime. Jess, get out of there. So anyway, even though um, we have at least another 10 days worth of good days to harvest before our first frost, I'm really concerned that if I sit on my button and let days pass, that I am going to be running around with my head cut off trying to get everything harvested before the frost. Um, we have so much left to still do. Um, lots of tomatoes to get done, but we are having to give them time to ripen. Um, and I've got all of my carrots still to get, but, but from what I understand, it's always best to let them um, go through a little frost because it sends some sort of a signal down from the leaves to the root itself uh, to become sweeter, or that makes it sweeter. Um, and then we got the whole bed of beets that I really need to grow um, more. And um, I've got behind me here, off of my shoulder, um, potatoes and pumpkin, uh, Lady Godiva pumpkin, and so um, there's a lot. Oh, and all of my basil, my oregano. I have a lot to get done. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Hey, can you get out of the? Can you get out of the sweet potatoes, sir? I know you want to help, but uh, you gotta stay out of the middle of it all. Um, I actually have a pepper plant growing right in the center. If you guys can pick it out but it is right there and it's got peppers on it i'm just not sure what kind it was a surprise can you get out <laughs> get out of the sweet potatoes mister he's so funny he's been actually harvesting some potatoes in that barren spot right there uh he decided that uh, he likes potatoes. Are you waiting for mama to harvest? Huh? Cutie. Anyway, so, um, I'm gonna set you guys up the best that I can. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to somewhat see what I've got going on. So, Give me a sec to get you set up. So I started out with, um, sit, 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 now stay. So I started out with a, um, let's just get down here on your level. So I started out with a um, sweet potato from the store. I had one left over. I didn't need as much as I thought I was going to need for Thanksgiving last year. And I saved that stock. I saved that and um, put it in the glass and allowed it to grow slips for me. And I grew those slips in the kitchen windowsill until it was time for them to um, get planted. And so if I'm not mistaken, I'm, I think I might have started with like maybe six or seven. A couple of them died because I was anxious and tried to put them out early. Um, but so yeah, we probably have like five of them, five of them left. So what we're going to do, oh, while, while I'm, while I'm getting this done, he's trying to harvest for me. He's digging. I know. Yes, I know what you're doing. I know. So, look, look at that. I already knew that there was going to be one right here. Look at that. Look at that. So, I knew this one was right here, and so did he, because we harvested one for when our granddaughter came to visit. 
And so she got to taste the very first grandma uh, sweet potato growing. This is my very first year doing this. So um, it was fun and um, we will definitely be growing sweet potatoes again. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip back these, um, these vines. But what I did learn is, oh my gosh, the vines, the leaves are super high in nutrient value. So these will probably get, um, not probably, they will. Okay, that's enough. I know you're helping, but geez. Um, uh, the nutrient value on these is amazing. So these will end up in our capsules. So I will be saving a bunch of these, grinding them up and freeze drying them probably this afternoon. Um, and hopefully I can show those to you later, but I'm gonna go ahead and get to picking or at least cutting these back. And then I'll bring you back close for, uh, for har digging and harvesting. Look at that. I'm down here too. Okay. Oops. This is when I need my gloves back on. Oop. There's a little small one. And that's what Jess was maybe after. Alright. I don't know. Let's see, we could have had lots more if we had a lot longer growing season. <laughs> Are you helping? Are you helping? <laughs> He's so adorable. <laughs> okay, get back. We're gonna, we got a harvest right here. Step back, buddy. <laughs> I know, you just want to help, huh? You want to help? You want to dig it out? Okay, back up. No, that's mama's glove. Go. <laughs> just go. All right, look at that. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Woo, look at that. No. Those are mom's, not Jess's. Yeah, you better sit your butt down. <laughs> He's trying to take off with my prize. I told him he had to wait for me so that I could go get my chest harness so that I'm hands free. And apparently he thinks he's king of the mountain. <laughs> You are a funny boy. All right, get up. Get up. Get up. <laughs> All right. So, we are, uh uh. We're going to be mindful. No. We're going to be mindful of this pepper plant here as we continue. That's enough. Enough. <clears throat> All right, so let's work on this spot right here. <clears throat> wow, it's kind of a intense growing process. Look at this whole area right here is just Ooh, it looks like something started to eat on that one. Okay, let's see. I gotta resituate myself. Ooh. Find a spot to sit. <clears throat> Alright. I'm just gonna still keep trying to dig down into this one. I don't want to ruin it. It's a big one. Shoot. I'm not angled good enough for you guys. How's that? Alright. Wow, it's down in here. It's a big one. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. 
Alright. How fun is this? <laughs> A little one. I think I'm gonna try to free do some freeze-dried sweet potato chips with some of them, depending on how many we get. Wow, these grow incredible. And who'd have thought that this could happen with a store-bought sweet potato? Are you finding anything? You finding anything? Or just worms. Are you eating worms? You don't. Don't you eat my worms? <laughs> you are. Look at these big old guys. Look at these big old guys. Oh yeah. What'd you find? What'd you find? What is it? Oh goodness. Oh goodness. What'd you find? For the most part, he knows he's not allowed to go into my beds. But... We're at the end of the season, so I guess I gotta let him help somehow. Are you finding worms? Huh? You finding worms? There's a bunch of them, buddy. Wow. Look at these, they just trailed everywhere. All right, back to getting these guys out. <laughs> That's strange. Nope, you stay out. You stay out. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a big, long one. That was a big, long one, Jess. Big long one, oh I know, I know, oh, I know. Okay, get back. All right, we're gonna scooch in. Mm. Look at that. Uh. Yeah, we could have gotten much larger sweet potatoes if we had more growing time, but like I said, I am too concerned that I'm going to run out of time to get everything done. So even if we just get a small amount, it's a positive thing. Okay, get that out of the way. I'm going to get my clippers so that if we run into any more like we did, <laughs> look at these. <laughs> this is awesome. All right, see, because look at this. Holy cow. That's some purslane. I might save that and put it into some goodness right here on top. Look at that. Oh my God, it's a heart. Vanessa, if you're watching this, it's kind of a heart shape. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at how big it is. Move. Get back, Jess. Get back. Oh, we got some big ones. Look out. Get. Get, get. <clears throat> All right, look at this. Oh, will you look at this? <laughs> it's like Christmas. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, stay out of there. These small ones are funny. <clears throat> anyway, I love growing new things. It's always fun and um, very educational. Educational for the following year and things you will do differently or do the same. Obviously, this did amazing. 
So we'll continue to do the same. Get back, Jess. Ooh, gotta move up. I'm gonna be a wet mess. What are you doing? Quit digging under my butt. Ow, Jess. <laughs> Ow. What are you doing? The, uh, the watering system just came on, I think. Oh, oh boy. Wow, this one's big. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> Dummy. <laughs> you dummy. Jess, stop. Oh. Guys, this is so awesome. <laughs> this is so awesome. You want to eat some sweet potatoes? I don't think they're good for you. Hey, get out of there. No. No. <clears throat> no, no, no. No, no, no. I know you want to help. I said no. Not right here. You can dig behind me where I've already been. No. Jess, stop. We tried to go down pretty far. Get back. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> Are you finding anything decent back there? Huh? Oh, shoot. I just tried to throw a worm <laughs> into the chicken coop. I was not successful. <laughs> wow. <sighs> Pull these lines off. Oop. I'm going to throw away a sweet potato. <clears throat> Look out, buddy. <clears throat> hey, 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 hey. That's enough. You can't dig where my 
tiny sitting. That hurts. Stop. There are lots and lots of worms. In fact, when I let the chickens out this fall, they're gonna have lots of good eating, good protein. <clears throat> All right, scoot them up again. I may have to, oh, I know I'm gonna have to uh, weigh all of this separately. You guys, this is so fantastic. Providing for your family, doing the work. And reaping the benefits is just surreal, honestly. Um, oh. um, it's just, I, I don't know, I guess I just, it's hard for me to describe the feeling it gives me. Um, Um, I know that you guys all know, like, what you're paying at the grocery store. And, um, uh, you know, I have some friends, uh, well, I know the, oh, look. All right, he is absolutely digging behind me. <laughs> look, we have a, um, a potato a not a not a sweet potato but a potato interesting well the other potatoes were growing right here so they're right next to us so we I won't be so surprised actually coming across any <clears throat> but anyway um you know I have some friends that don't have a humongous um, area to grow, but they're growing in a bunch of grow bags. They're doing fantastic. And they're providing for their families and it's so wonderful to see. Oh, look at that. So wonderful to see. <clears throat> look at that. I have no idea what we'd do with this, but I'm gonna keep it. I might actually turn it, uh, freeze dry it and turn it into powder to go into our capsules. Nothing goes to waste here, people. It's just not allowed. We do not let things go to waste. <clears throat> All right. We're getting to almost to the end here. Yeah, I see these would have grown so many more sweet potatoes if we had more time. But we don't. <clears throat> A lot of you might have fallen off watching and that's okay, but um, some of you might be just as excited as I am and want to continue to watch. So that's kind of why I'm letting you watch. Um, yeah, super exciting. Um, guys, you can do this in a grow bag, in a feed sack, on your porch if you get enough light. So long as they have, look, there's another regular potato. So long as they have enough light, water, and deep enough growing conditions to grow, you just get a large, a large bag and you can do this. You can do this. This is literally in my no dig row, you guys. 
I mean, if you've been following me, it's not a garden bed. It is literally a windrow, meaning a row. It's built up about, I don't know, 12 to 18 inches to start. Look at that one. 12 to 18 inches to start. It settles over time. Um, but that is what I use to grow my sweet potatoes, my potatoes. Um, it's just been super easy and um, an amazing uh, location to grow. I made the location. Um, <clears throat> it was just blank ground and I made the location. <clears throat> Here's some more regular potatoes. These are some fingerling potatoes. <clears throat> I'll try not to uh, add those to the way in. There's not very many, so I'm not worried. <laughs> but just so we can keep it real. Are you seriously eating worms, Jess? Oh my gosh. You crazy dog. You're such a crazy dog. You crazy puppy, huh? Crazy puppy. Alright. Alright, that does it. Let's take a look at all the sweet potatoes, guys. Throw my foot over here. Look at that. Look at that. All right, let's go up to the scale. <clears throat> Come on, Jess, let's go. All right, ahead. so we're up here at the scale. And this bad boy is one pound. Actually, like a little over one pound. <laughs> this is crazy. All right. That is almost two and a half pounds together. We are at five and a half pounds. Let me get this up to 10 pounds and dump to start over. pounds. All right, we're at 10 pounds. We're going to dump it down in here and start over. If, I, if I'm to guess, I'm going to say we have maybe 15 total pounds. out of it, the regular potatoes. Oh my gosh, I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm wrong. We might end up with 20 pounds. We'll see. We're close to it anyway. Boy, would we have had so many more. Next year's gonna be a bigger and better year. That's what I say every year though. Bigger and better. Oh yeah, we're almost at 20 pounds. All right, let's see here. Gotta leave the regular potatoes behind. Oh, shoot.
All right. Oh, so close. We have a total of 19 pounds. So there's nine pounds on this one and 10 down here. That's so awesome. <laughs> All right. What you got? What'd you find? You got a muddy little chin, mister. No, you got a muddy little chin. <laughs> Good boy. Oh. Whoopsie. Beautiful. It's a tea. A tea for Tanner. Maybe Tanner needs to have the sweet potato. We are done. We're gonna go get out of these clothes and let these dry out a bit. Actually, I need to drain it again. <laughs> oh well. Wow. Let them come out. Actually, let's just go ahead and put them off. Rinse them a lot better. Whoop. All right, now, now we can rinse them. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, it's just a, an hour or two after I harvested. I've got all of these vines to deal with. And um, I fed some to our bunnies. But I am currently um, getting them cleaned up and ready to... Whoop, uh, well, I'll just bring you over and show you. Um... So what we have here is a pot of water, cold water, and a strainer pot that fits right inside of it. And I am one by one cutting off the leaves to the sweet potato plant. And this guy's just over here having a good old time all by himself. Oh boy. Um, anyway, I'm just cutting these off because I'm, I'm going to post a photo in here so you can see, but it has come to my attention by another fellow homesteader friend of mine that, um, so I'm not going to save these ones that are all kind of torn up or eaten up or discolored, but for the most part, all of them are going in here. Um, like that one? Nah. That one, nah. Uh, <laughs> are you swimming, buddy? You swimming? Yeah, that's my water dog. All right, so anyway, that's what we are doing. And I'm gonna throw 
uh, the remainder into the chickens. But back to what I was saying, found out from a homesteader friend of mine, is that they are absolutely rich in nutrients. And boy, she was not kidding. I looked it up and that's what I'm gonna share with you, either picture in picture or somehow it'll come up on the screen. Um, uh, but oh my goodness, they pack a punch of, um, I think they're the highest in um, vitamin A and vitamin K, I believe. <clears throat> But yeah, so this is what I'm doing is cutting off the leaves. You can actually saute these up and eat them. Or you can do what I'm going to do. Or you can dehydrate them. But I have a freeze dryer. And if you've been following me, you know that I enjoy making our own vitamin capsules. Kind of like you see on TV, the balance of nature stuff. We make our own from our vegetables and fruits and garlic and um, the only ingredients in them that I don't grow are either fruits from our friends' trees that they grow or stuff that I can't grow here or haven't grown here yet or tried to grow here yet, which is turmeric and ginger. Um, I don't know. We might try to do that in the years to come. But for now, I purchased from a herbal supply company. And so periodically, I'm just going to push these down and get them soaking in this cold water. <clears throat> and then we will take them and put them through the food processor and chop them up into small pieces before we put them into the freeze dryer. But these are definitely going to pack a punch in our mixtures. Uh, we've got some new stuff coming up that I can't wait to share with you guys. So if you aren't already subscribed, you might want to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification. That way it will let you know when I upload new videos. And that way you don't miss what we got coming up. Um, and I appreciate all of you that have been following along and all you new people that have come along. I enjoy sharing what I do here. Um, it's therapeutic to me. And um, we're at a time in this world that we all need each other's help. And if that's by teaching you how to do what I do and becoming a little more self-sufficient, then that makes me happy. So I'm going to go ahead and take these over and throw them into one of the chicken coops. I already gave this run a whole bunch, so we're going to go up here to the upper chicken coop. Hi, girls and boy. Hi, RC. I sw swapped out the roosters um, here. I brought RC up um, to have his time with the girls for a bit. And oh my goodness, the amount of the amount of uh, feathers that they've molted is incredible. Um, and I've been actually saving some of the flower or the feathers and you'll have to stay tuned for that too. So, all right, well, back to work I go. All right, so here we have an entire tray of um, sweet potato leaves. Under that is pesto base. Up here is, oh goodness, what is this, basil. Underneath that is kale. I don't remember what else. So this will all go in the freeze dryer tonight. And um, stay tuned.